What's up everybody? My name's Rowan. I'm a Lyran Witch. I'm an animal communicator, spiritual life coach, and multi-dimensional energy healer. I'm here by the creek with my buddy Armin. And I'm here to pass along a message from an animal collective that is coming through very strongly today. I'm going to let the light kind of shine in on the side here. I can see that it's coming through very blue on the camera, so that tells me that the I'm channeling in the blue light from Lyra. That's the, the flame or energy ray that I tend to work with, so the guides are definitely present. Um, the animal that is coming through very strongly today are the snails, okay? And the snails are not an energy that typically tends to come through, so it's really interesting that they wanted to make themselves known so strongly. Snail is really an incredible guide for us because they have a lot of sacred geometry to them. They have the spiral naturally built into their shell. And the spiral, of course, talks about cycles, seasons, um, life and death, just really the natural fluctuation of energy that we go through in our lifetime. And because they brought this up as the first message, there's really an energy right now in the collective of stagnancy, feeling stuck, feeling like you're not where you need to be. And the snails are coming through to remind us that you're in a season of growth right now. Anytime that your life starts to slow down, it's not stagnancy. Try to reframe that because that will actually cause you to feel more stuck and really slow things down for you if you start to beat yourself up about it. Think of it as you're being given time to rest so that you can call in all of the strength and get rid of anything that isn't serving you for the next big thing that's coming through. The more that you can lean into these moments of stuckness without getting trapped in stubbornness, in resistance, in the capitalistic mindset that you always need to be achieving and doing instead of being, that is, those are all a recipe for getting really frustrated with yourself. And that can actually cause you to feel less in tune with your spirituality and less in tune with everything around you than you would have if you would have just leaned into that. So really try to release any kind of judgment on yourself at this time. And know that you can work with the energy of the spiral by looking at pictures of snail shells, by looking at pictures of... <laughs> my dog is digging next to me. Um, by looking at pictures of the sacred spirals in Ireland that they carved into rocks. Um, and I'm sure there's plenty of other cultures as well. So you can look into that. The fact that the spiral also shows up on their shell is really a beautiful symbol as well because snail reminds us that we always have everything we need with us. You know, material things come and go in our lives. Don't get stuck in money. Don't, don't even frustrate yourself about money if you don't have to. And I know that's so much easier said than done. I am by no means at this point in my life a wealthy person. And I spent years beating the hell out of myself about money and feeling like stressed out and burdened by it all the time. And what I found is there have been seasons where I had a lot and seasons where I had almost nothing. Um, and because... I'm a light worker, and you're a light worker if you're watching this. You're going to be taken care of. Things will work out for you. The more that you can lean into the idea that things are working out for you, the sooner that help that you need is going to come to you. Whether that's an opportunity or a door opening up that you can help yourself, or whether somebody else or an outside resource helps you. It might not be an easy thing, Sometimes these seasons really suck. Sometimes they're terrifying. But you will get through it. And the less resistance that you can put up for yourself and the less judgment you can put up for yourself for trying your best, the easier it's going to go for you. So that is the message that the snails have for us in regards to that. They also want us to know that if you're, whatever your spiritual path is, because this channel is open to whatever spiritual path you are on, they really want you to know that you don't need material things to connect. It's really helpful to have the specific crystals, the specific herbs, to have the 
access or the money to take the course or the workshop you want or find the mentor that you're looking for. But all of that stuff is secondary. All of that stuff is secondary to just going outside and existing. Nature created us. We are a part of nature. And something that has happened in humanity is that we've built up literally physical walls to keep ourselves separate from nature, separate from all the things around us and the ecosystem that we're a part of. It's no wonder that people feel disconnected from themselves and everything else. It's a part of our natural cycle to seek out that connection. That's how we plug in to the universe, right? Or whatever you think of as your higher power, if you believe in a higher power. That's all connected to nature. You know, no matter what you believe, nature exists. And there's a lot of beauty in nature. And when you go outside, that actually allows you, as an empath, as somebody who takes in other people's energies and the energies of the world, to release all of that energy back to the earth to be transmuted. It'll flow from your root chakra out through your feet and back into the earth, whether you're wearing shoes or not. You don't have to do anything special, and you don't have to have the special tools and the special certifications and lineages and whatever. Like, you don't have to be in action to be connected. That's what the snails really want us to know today. In the same way that their shell is a part of them, that they take wherever they go, that shields and protects them from harm, it's the exact same thing. Whenever we are able to get all that other shit out of the way in our minds and get especially the judgment out of the way in our minds for all the ways that we may or be, may not be showing up as we want to or as we plan on. And just existing right now and knowing that you are okay. Even if you're not showing up as the person that you want to be right now, you have value. Anything can change and everything will change. That's the only stable, solid thing that we can hook on to and know is true. Everything changes in life. And I think that spending time outside without relying on spiritual tools, no matter where you're at in terms of being able to have access to the things that you want for self-help and, and development personally and spiritually, being outside is the number one way to just exist and be around the constant change. You can witness the changes. It, whether you live somewhere with seasons or not, you can watch how things move in nature, how things change in nature, and witness other things being and existing and having value and beauty without being in judgment. And that's a really beautiful way that we can connect to the energy of everything outside of us. Okay? And that's the message that the snails... Hello, Armin. That's the message that the snails wanted to bring through today, is to remind us that we are whole. We don't need to have anything outside of us to have value and to get the insights that we are really looking for in our lives. They also are bringing up... They're showing me their little antennas, and they're saying that everybody has those built in. So I just want to speak to this real quick, and I'm sure I'll do many videos on this because this is something I've talked about with almost every client I've ever had. But every human on this earth has sixth sense, has spiritual abilities, and everybody is are totally unique for what you're here to do. Everybody has a soul mission, which is something that makes you really happy. That's the thing that makes you really happy that also gives back to the world but it fills you with joy to do this thing. It's like the best feeling ever to show up whenever you are in that energy of your spiritual mission, right? Like your soul mission on earth. You'll know when you're there. That's not something somebody has to inform you of. You'll just know. But what they're saying is everybody has this sixth sense and everybody has these abilities and everyone's are different. So please don't, if you're trying to activate your third eye or activate your clear audience or your clear sentience, you know, whatever gifts or single gift you're focused on or not focused on, everybody has all of them. It's just how they show up for you is going to be different. The timing is going to be different in which they activate for you because you have specific lessons that you're learning in this lifetime. And 
Snail is really reminding us to trust that we will be able to step into that in right timing. So if you're not in a season of doors opening in the way you want to, just know there's a reason for that. There's something that you are learning right now and the way to move through these lessons is to move out of judgment and into as much joy and ease as you can. Sometimes the only joy and ease that we can feel in a moment is at least I woke up. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been in plenty of situations in my personal life where shit just sucked and I was in physical pain, I was in spiritual, emotional pain. Nothing felt good. And the only thing I could be grateful for in those moments is, okay, I can walk. I have the ability to walk. I have the ability to see right now. Or at least I'm in a warm house. Or at least I have a car, even if I don't have a house. At least I have the joy of being in nature right now. At least I have food in this moment. I'm very grateful for the food I have in this moment. Really simple stuff. Snail's really reminding us to take it back to basics with our gratitude and with our just joy in living, okay? And if you can't achieve joy right now and the most you can achieve is acceptance, that's huge. That's the most important thing. I think the first step in having a life that you can enjoy is having a life where you can feel peace. Joy isn't something that you feel all the time. Joy is like a storm, a weather pattern, right? It's like a single thing that'll happen. But if you can create a climate of, of peace or of, you know, kind of a lack of chaos, but like an easy, like peaceful energy, that's whenever it's gonna make room for more joy to come in and more happy things to come into your life that genuinely light you up and make you feel inspired and curious just keep following that. Keep following peace, okay? So, wanted to send you all my love. Armin is sending you all of his love. Oh, buddy. Oh, there's a sleep thing. He's happy. <laughs> and if you enjoy my channel, definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share in case somebody else needs this message. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And I also have exclusive content on Patreon, and I have extended readings there. I'm going to be posting a lot more of this type of stuff on this channel, but I will still be doing card readings. I'll be doing some more Reiki. So I'm sending you guys tons of love at this time. I hope that no matter what you are going through, you can lean into ease and lean into the joy in knowing that you have value, no matter what's happening for you, and that I see you trying your damnedest in life and that things will get better for you. Take care, everybody. Keep growing.